Hello again everyone, this is H2Acorn from Online Nights with episode 9 of Mass Effect Factions, the series where we explore the lore of the races in the Mass Effect trilogy. We break these videos into four sections, history, anatomy, military, and culture. Today we're going to be looking at the Batarian hegemony. Starting off, history, the backstory of the Batarians up until the start of the trilogy. The Batarians originated from the planet of Karshan, and similarly to the humans, discovered Prothean ruins on the moon of a nearby gas giant. The Prothean data and technology allowed the Batarians to greatly advance their science and make use of the mass relay network. The Batarians were one of the first races to encounter the Asari and Solarians, and within a century of first contact they were granted a permanent embassy on the Citadel to treat with the Council. But despite being welcomed into the galactic community, over the years the Batarians caused several political crises over territorial disputes due to their aggression in expanding. By the 2160s, with the Human Systems Alliance now on the scene and beginning to colonise a region called the Scillian Verge, these tensions came to a head. The Batarians had already begun to settle the region and clashed violently with the human explorers. They appealed to the Council to intervene and declare the Verge Batarian territory, However, the Council refused. Outraged, the Batarians closed their embassy on the Citadel and severed all political and economic ties with the other Council races. After a short period of relative quiet, the Batarians launched a major offensive against the human colony of Elysium in 2176, a campaign which became known as the Scillian Blitz. A huge band of Batarian warlords attacked Elysium, but was successfully held off by the local garrison and civilian militia, long enough for Alliance reinforcements to arrive. In 2178, the Alliance destroyed Torfan in retaliation, the moon which the Batarians had used as their staging area for the assault on Elysium. The Batarians then fully retreated back into their own systems, where they remain today, a rogue, inward-looking state which exists outside of Council space. They stand alone in the galaxy, and remain deeply embittered towards the Council, and humanity in particular, for driving them into exile. Next up, Anatomy, a description of the physical characteristics of the Batarians. Batarians are humanoid, though on average are slightly larger and noticeably stronger than a human. Most Batarians have brown skin tones with occasional shades of green or red, and some also have coloured markings on their chins or side of their heads. Batarians have small pointed ears and dozens of razor-sharp pointing teeth. Though they lack a protruding nose, however, and have multiple sets of nostrils arranged in a downwards facing triangular shape. The most distinctive feature of the Batarians is their eyes, each having two pairs of black eyes, with the upper pair being slightly smaller than the lower. These four eyes are sunken into thick ridges of cartilage, which protect their faces and the top of their heads. Several Batarians have been observed to be capable of using biotic abilities, however, the prevalence of biotics amongst the population is unknown. Thirdly, military an assessment of the Batarians' military strength. Due to their self-imposed exile, little is known about the Batarian armed forces. It is likely to be small, however, as demonstrated by their inability to prevent human expansion into the Verge. Unable to win a war against the Alliance without Council support, instead the Batarians now fight through proxy wars. They fund and support various pirate and terrorist groups across the galaxy, allowing their government to deny responsibility for attacks against unguarded human colonies. The official Batarian military, insofar that it exists, is supplied by Batarian State Arms, a government-owned weapons and armor manufacturer, the Batarians not wanting to rely on private corporations to supply them with hardware. As a non-Citadel race, the Batarian Navy is not bound by the Treaty of Faraxon, and so has no limit on the number of dreadnoughts that they can maintain. The Batarians claim to have many, however only one dreadnought has so far been sighted. The Batarian military also has a brutal training program, the boot camp for their Special Forces Division, having a reported mortality rate of almost 1 in 5. And it's the brutality of the Batarian military that acts as its greatest strength, making up for their numerical disadvantages by using horrific tactics to break the enemy's morale. So although not nearly a match for the Alliance, the repeated hit-and-run attacks on human colonies by pirates and slavers have created a fearsome reputation for the Batarians. Finally, culture, a look at Batarian behaviours. Batarian society is structured into a strict caste system, where those who are perceived to have overstepped their social class are punished heavily. Despite being illegal under council law, slavery is a deeply ingrained part of Batarian culture, and so is very much alive in Batarian space. Batarian slavers are feared throughout the galaxy due to their frequent raids on the more remote colonies of other races. Batarians are often known to be deeply religious, 
however the extent to which religion affects their social hierarchy is unknown. Following their withdrawal from the citadel, the Batarians became an isolationist state. Their government, the Batarian hegemony, is totalitarian, a police state which ruthlessly stamps out any political protest and rewards compliance with the regime. They also heavily restrict information entering or leaving their territory, therefore the only news coming out from the Batarian worlds is the outrageous propaganda which their government produces. In order to escape their oppressive government, many Batarians flee their homeworlds to live a dangerous life in the Terminus systems, a region of space outside council jurisdiction and so full of pirate groups. The sheer number of Batarians involved in these groups has earned them a bad reputation for being violent and uncivilized, however, with the exception of humans, most of the Citadel races viewed the Batarians as a far away and ignorable problem. So that was the Batarian hegemony. Please note that this wasn't an exhaustive list of all the information on them, but we hope that this helps further your understanding of them in some way. Please like, comment any suggestions, and subscribe for more. I've been H2Acon, and I'll see you next time.